Okay, there's yeah. different types of voices that a person can hear within their head, if you will. Mm -hmm. And one of them is inner voice, and that relates to your own personal wisdom voice that comes from your spiritual wisdom or your ener energetic uh, precognitive system. And then other, another voice could be the voice of guidance from outside of yourself. And that usually doesn't sound like your own voice. So if you can determine that the voice you heard that was warning you of an upcoming disaster sounded like your voice, then that was your own inner voice or your wisdom voice. If you determine it sounded like a voice you had never heard before and not your voice, then it was some sort of guidance, divine guidance, if you will, voice warning you of a, a disaster. So is not my inner voice a form of divine guidance then? It's a form of your personal divine guidance, your own personal spiritual system that alerts you to what your mind and body may not be cognizant of. And in, in that realm, when you tune into or connect with your inner voice or your wisdom voice, that's a part of your higher guidance system, if you will, that tells your mind and your body, which operates slower than your, um, your spiritual wisdom. It tells you of precognitive events such as you had as a way to keep you out of trouble, keep you away from disaster. Well, that's interesting because I'm, with this film, I'm proposing that intuition is a personal guidance system. Do you believe it is? Oh, certainly, yes. Tell me. Okay, so my work is teaching people, which I've been doing for 40 years, how to access their intuitive guidance system and the multiple ways that one can receive intuitive information. And there's really many, many ways. Uh, science is, has determined that right now, presently, there are at least 21 ways that you can connect into your intuitive sense and use it for accessing information, for gathering wisdom and knowledge that you might not have direct mental access to, and use it for various uh, ways of communication. Can you give me examples of some of those ways? Well, inner voice, mm -hmm. which was your experience, whether it was your own inner voice or a divine guidance voice from outside of yourself. There's clairvoyance, which is clear seeing, and that's a subtle human sense that I believe many, many people have lost over time, but it's still a sense that's wired into our physiology. People who have operating clairvoyance can look at a person and see subtle energy patterns around them or through their body. Then there's clairaudience, which is hearing voices or sounds, not inner sounds, but outer sounds, like hearing someone's voice. Uh, mostly when I ask my students if they've had a clairaudient experience, the students who say yes 90% of the time say the clairaudient voice was the voice of a dead loved one. Say, for example, a grandmother who died. And the grandmother is saying hello to them and they can hear it through their ears, not within their body, but through their ears. There's also clairsentience, which is clear feeling, and that is using your physical body as emotional radar. So you can feel what another person is feeling. Sometimes people who have very uh, strongly wired clairsentience can feel exactly where a person's pain is in their body. So for example, if you have pain in your right shoulder and I'm clairsentient and I'm sitting near you, my right shoulder could also hurt. There is also telepathy and that's mental communication between people without using spoken words. Many people have telepathy, maybe not even knowing that they do. The phone rings, you know it's your best friend. You pick it up, it's in fact your best friend. And that person has mentally communicated to you, hello Bill, pick the phone up, it's your best friend. So Francesca, tell me how does that work then on an energetic level, how does that work when you anticipate a phone call? It is like the internet works. And uh, a message is sent over a wireless system or a Wi-Fi a wi system. And if the recipient has their 
computer on or their phone on, and they, can lo they look and see, oh, there's a message coming in. I'll either answer it or not answer it. So it's sort of like wireless communication. Our physical bodies are wired for all types of subtle energy communications that are going on all the time. It's just where you put your focus and how you have trained your system to be a receptor for these subtle energy systems will determine how honed your intuitive senses are.